cha-cha-cha. It's cooking all your food. The food tastes so good. It tastes like food, dude. Oh, pressure cooker. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Tupperware Pete. Yes, the pressure cooker uses pressure to cook your food. Now, this is not like the pressure cooker that your mum or your grandma or your aunties and uncles are used to. Not at all. There's no little silver knob on here that's going to pop off halfway through and go straight up through the roof. This is going to be used in the microwave oven. So it works on the efficiency of a microwave oven, maintaining all of the health benefits of a pr pressure cooker, all right? So there's loads of safety features. There's a safety feature. <laughs> this is the base. Now, there's a little, there's a minimum line and a maximum line. So if you're doing like mashed potatoes, minimum line is 150 mils of water. Pop that in there with your mashed potatoes, parsnip, pumpkin, sweet potato. You can do your mash. You can mash straight up in here, no more stovetop. Um, and there's a maximum line in there as well. So if you are doing like a silver side or a roast chook or a curry or a stew or a casserole just make sure you that your food is um at the maximum line all right with the top here there's uh, so many little safety features into here right so let you have a look you've probably seen this before this is your little safety arm that locks that down into place that locks the top onto the bottom see these little interlocking tabs that also locks the top onto the bottom there's your little o-ring your little gasket that suctions everything in so it makes it completely airtight when you lose the instruction booklet <laughs> all the instructions are on here so you don't have to keep looking for the booklet all right now can you see this here this is your safety release valve so if you do have a build-up of steam that's going to escape through there see this here this is your pressure indicator. That's what tells you the pressure is actually cooking your food, right? So when it's building up with the pressure, that goes into the up position. When it's finished in the microwave, it's going to still be in the up position. You pull that out. Please let it sit for at least another five minutes or until that goes down naturally by itself. Then it's safe to click the safety arm up and see the little arrow here. Over here, this arrow, this is what I'm trying. Turn it this way to pop your, your cover off. Pop it that way to pop the cover on. And they just line up with the arrows on the base. It really is that simple. If you like this, the specs of products, they've put all the temperatures and things on the bottom there so you can suss that out. Let's make a chicken and sweet corn soup. Tupperware Pete style. All right. Now, did you see my video where I shredded chicken in the supersonic chopper? <laughs> Let's do... Take two. <laughs> it takes two, baby. This is the silicon bag. This is the silicon bag that goes into the freezer, the microwave oven, the uh, the gas oven, electric oven, the wood oven, the sous vide on the stove top. You can strap it to your backpack and take your lunch um, with you wherever you want. You can, if you're going overseas, it makes a great toiletries bag. Or, you know, if you're going swimming, you pop all your um. I say togs. I mean, I'm from Queensland. What do you say? Bathers. Swimming costume. <laughs> we say togs here in um, Queensland. All right, so basically you can pop your wet togs into there and that's going to keep everything nice and secure. It's liquid tight, so it will not leak anywhere. All right, so there's your little zipper. I've had this um, defrosting in the fridge. Um, and all I'm going to do is grab my chicken. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. We're going to just pop this straight onto our little uh, Tupperware chopping mat. I'm just going to chop this up into chunks. That is very important to do, all right? <laughs> Please make sure you chop it into chunks. Don't just pop it in their hole, all right? And if you've subscribed to the Tupperware Pete YouTube channel, you'll know what I'm talking about, all right? So we're just going to pop this into bite-sized pieces. Now, normally, when you are doing like a, a chicken and sweet corn soup, it says that you've got to shred the chicken after it's cooked. Well, when you're using the supersonic chopper, I shred everything before I pop it in. So if I'm doing pumpkin soup, I'll pop the pumpkin in the supersonic chopper, blitz that before I cook it. That way you're not messing about with hot food. So it's a lot safer. Let me just wash my hand from here. Okay. Luckily, the, sink, the sink's got water in it. Oh, there's a couple of knives. <laughs> They're a cut above the rest. All right. So what we'll do is we will, I'll show you. 
This is your supersonic chopper. This is the one, I'm gonna use the blade attachment into here. That just sits on a little peg in there and there's a little hole there. And they've reinforced the cord. <laughs> yes, they have. All right, I think everybody's reinforced the cord after like my last video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that straight into here. We will grab our chicken and we'll just pop that into there, all right? So this is a fairly decent chicken breast. I'm saying it's probably between four and 600 grams. So we're gonna pop that into there. All I'm gonna do is shake, 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 shake the chicken. And we will pull the cord and we're gonna shred this chicken now because we don't wanna mess about with hot chook afterwards having to shred that, and no thank you. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Four. Oh, hang on. We're going to have another accident. <laughs> Let's just make sure I'm focusing on the kitchen, Peter. All right, there we go. Can you see that? Now, it's just going to make chicken mince, basically. Yeah. So all you have to do is... Upside down, Miss Jane. That's going to pop in there. Now, look at that. That's our chicken breast. Totally shredded. Totally minced into there. Grab our Tupperware spatula. I love this because it's pointy on one side and straight on one side and on the other side it's nice and curved. So it doesn't matter what container you're, you know, scraping, it's going to get every last little skerrick, <laughs> is that a word, out of your, whatever you're scraping. There we go. How awesome is that? And there, There's our minced chicken. Now what we're going to do is just grab a tin of corn, creamed corn I'm going to be using. Now, yes, it has a ring pull. Have you ever cut yourself on the, on the, the tin or the can when you do the ring pull? Or has the ring pull ever broken? You still need a can opener anyway, right? Or you might do the ring pull and then halfway through it's like, oh my goodness, don't cut yourself. And you've got to like really yank that thing off, right? Grab your Tupperware can opener. No sharp edges. It doesn't matter if you've got a ring pull, you can still do it, it's gonna be very safe, right? So, how you use it, you open up the arms, and you wanna, you wanna get the, the edge of the can in between this turning wheel and this wheel in here as well, right? Now, it doesn't actually cut, it just releases the seal when they pressurize the can. So you pop that on, you slide that on, Close the arms up, and you know you've got it on because you can lift the whole thing up, right? Whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you just turn it in a clockwise direction until you hear the click. Sometimes you don't hear the click. Oh, did you hear that? And then you can go back a quarter of a turn, or you just basically undo the arms, and it looks like you haven't opened it up, right? <laughs> See the little beak? See this little beak here? Hook that over the can, close up the arms, one hand on the can, lift the other one up, and can you see how this never touches any food? There's no need to ever wash it. If you never wash this, this will be the last can opener you buy, promise. You just go over to the bin, and you, you release the arms. I'll pretend that's the last time I did that, I slipped on mango juice and then <laughs> ended up with a yellow bruise all up my arm. So we'll just pop that over there. <laughs> over there. there is our tin of creamed corn. Grab your spatula. No sharp edges. It's not going to damage your spatula whatsoever. We're just going to pop that straight into there. We can scrape every last little skerrick out of there. How awesome is that? There's our corn, right? So now what we do is, that's our chicken and corn. All we're going to do is a splash of soy sauce. I love these. Little one touch. That reveals the no drip spout. I've got soy sauce in there, just about... A tablespoon or two, that's gonna be your sodium. Then what we're going to do is, this has got our, this has got our chicken in there. So what we'll do is, we'll just give this a bit of a rinse. Just give that a bit of a rinse. What we're going to do is, this is our chopping mat that we did the chicken on. Let's pretend we've washed it, so we'll just flip it upside down. <laughs> That's gonna help it stick to the to the um to the bench top, all right? So you grab your Tupperware knife. We've got an onion here. Pop that over there. We are just going to top and tail this onion. Can you see what I'm doing down here? Top and tail this onion. We'll chop that in half. And we will just peel that, grab that skin off, and we will just. Oh, well, this is a really hard onion to do. 
All right. Hat. Do you chop onions at your house or do you get someone else to do it? Do you have fights over who's going to chop the onions at your house? <laughs> or do you, have, do you have people saying, let me chop the onions, I want to chop the onions. With the supersonic chopper, you will have all the help you, you need in the kitchen, let me tell you. People will be crawling over each other to help you pull the cord and chop the veggies. Like, it's absolutely brilliant. The design is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. It keeps winning design awards all through Europe. We've got some garlic. Now, if you know, if you know what I'm like, there's our garlic. <laughs> Let's just grab some, look at that. There's our garlic. We'll just pop that straight into here. Garlic is a vegetable. <laughs> it's more than a seasoning. More than a seasoning. <laughs> pop that straight into there. There's our garlic and we'll just pop them into there. Once we're done. I love that. Seal it up. Hides all the mess. How awesome is that? And then that way, you know the garlic press that's on sale right now? That can just get stored straight into there and away you go. You don't have to run around the kitchen. Okay, so we'll pop that back over here. Move that out of the way. Then we've got our we've got our onion and we've got our garlic. What we're going to do now is zucchini. In bikinis are uh, running down the stairs. Zucchinis. All right, we're just going to chop this into chunks. Slide that straight into there. There's some onion, garlic, zucchini. I'm going to throw in half a green chilli. Just for a little bit of heat, actually, a little bit more. If you don't like the chilli, don't pop the chilli in. I like a bit of heat in mine. And pop the top on. It's like a bayonet light bulb. If the blades are in straight, you can do that. I mean, if you prefer to slice things up with a knife, the Tupperware knives are brilliant. But this is great also too because that's 10 pulls of the cord. There's your zucchini, your onion, your garlic, your chilli, all done. Just pop that straight into there. I love it. It's, it's uh, no messing about. You grab your Tupperware spatula. That's going to help you get everything out of there. There we go. How awesome is that? And because cabbages are $12 at the moment. $12. Go the Asian green. I've got my Wombok that I've stored in my Tupperware Vent Smart container. And instead of buying your cabbage or buying your fruit and veggies and then throwing it out in four days' time, this will lay this will extend the life of your fruits and veggies three to five times longer than just sitting in a plastic bag at the bottom of your fridge. They're brilliant, all right? They're called Vent Smart. So all I'm gonna do is grab my Wombok and I'm just gonna do a healthy amount of that and I'm just going to if we wanted to we could pop it straight into there which I think we might and I'll just show you this I make coleslaw in here as well when um when cabbages aren't $12 a kilo or $12 each for then I'll pop that straight into here hmm, there's a little bit of chicken -na 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 -na. all right what we'll do is we will there's just like four pulls now it needs a little bit more shake 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 Another four pulls. That's awesome. This is exactly what I want. There's my cabbage. Throw that into there. You're going to hide some veggies from yourself, the dogs, the partners, the kids, whoever you need to hide veggies from. But also, everything tastes better when it's sliced fine, don't you think? All right, so we'll pop that into there. Let's grab that cabbage out into there. Pop that into there. Oh, delicious. Delicious. All right, so now, can you see? Look what I've got. Chicken, corn, cabbage, zucchini, onion, garlic, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of chilli. I don't need salt because of that soy. And now all I need to do is, I don't have chicken stock. So if I had some chicken stock, I would put in about a litre of chicken stock. But what I'm going to do is, I don't have chicken stock. So what I'm going to do is throw in some water. Let me just fill this up and I've got my, I've got my Tupperware glass carafe. You know, Tupperware do glass. 
they do stainless steel, they do eco cloths and fabrics. They've got products that have zippers and they also have an entire range of eco plus which creates a circular economy. I've got my Tupperware glass carafe, which speaking of circular, this has a 360 degree pour. Look at this. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to pick it up and pour it. You can pick it up and pour it whichever way. You don't have to pour it a particular way, right? There's got your little rubber stoppers into here. This is the Tupperware glass. There's no lead in any of the Tupperware glass products, which I love. We're going to throw in about a litre, which is about four cups, as little or as much as you want, right? Then I'm going to throw in some noodles. Actually, have you seen these? These are the Tupperware Ultra Clear. It's an alternative storage solution for your pantry. You can store them in the fridge. It's a proper airtight Tupperware seal, and I think they look gorgeous. They've got a reinforced base. They're extremely easy to um, remove the seal and apply the seal. You just grab the tab. It's a one tab. Peel the seal, and there you, you see you've got your stand, your traditional Tupperware seal um, that's been keeping food fresh on this planet for 78 years. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are just going to grab some of these noodles. We'll just break them up a little bit, pop them straight into here, and we'll save them, we'll save them for Ron, later on. <laughs> and now we have fun with the spices. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to grab a, I've got a couple of bay leaves in here. You can throw in some bay leaves. Now these are the spice containers. You can pop your little teaspoon in there if you need to scoop or if you prefer to shake, 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 shake. There's your little sprinkles shaker. So we've got some bay leaves into there. We are also going to throw in some black peppercorns. Just about a half a dozen, just to give it that flavor. And then that's literally all I'm going to do. So noodles. We've got corn, our chicken, we've got some bay leaves. It's going to be, mix that all up. I will just pop in just a tad more water. You want to pour it this way? Not a problem. We can pour it this way. You want to pour it this way? Not a problem. Pour it that way. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we've got that there. Grab your top. We're going to line up the arrows on the base. That we want to put the cover on so we turn it that way, clockwise. Lock that into place. Now, instead of your slow cooker taking four to eight hours, this is going to take 20 to 30 minutes and you've not got an appliance plugged in while you're doing it. Well, you do. You have a microwave, which takes two cents a day to run, right? So I'm going to pop this in. I'm going to pop it in for 25 minutes. You could do it for the full 30 minutes if you wanted to. I'm going to pop it in for 25 Make sure you give me a like and a follow and subscribe. I'm over every social media platform and I, you can just find me Tupperware Pete and uh, I'll post up the photos of the finished product there. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. And you know, you know what's coming, don't you? You ready? Everybody sing along. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. I'll send me a message if you need a hand with anything. Okay, bye-bye.